Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use branching logic in Microsoft Forms. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample form in which I'm having parents sign up to bring things in for our field day picnic. And we can see here, I have a standard, what is your name? And a list of things that parents can bring in. And then this third question I have here is, when can you bring your item to school? And this is the question to which I'm going to apply branching logic. Because if they bring the item to school the day before field day, I want them to have the direction to please drop it off with Ms. Jones, the cafeteria manager. But if they're bringing it the morning of field day, I want them to get the directions for bringing it directly to the classroom. So here's what we do. Just click on question number three, and I'm going to make this required. And then we're going to use the option to add branching. And if they choose the afternoon before field day, they're going to go to this one here. It says, thank you. And the directions then are to bring the item to Miss Jones, cafeteria manager. And then here, if they choose question, the second option on question three, they're going to go to this one here. And they'll get these directions. Now, after this, I'm going to have them end the form. And after that one, they're going to end the form as well. So let's take a look now and see what this form looks like to a parent who's filling it out. Click the preview, they'll fill in their name. They're going to bring chips and they're going to bring the item the morning of field day. And it'll say, thank you. If you're bringing your item to school the morning of field day, please bring it directly to the classroom. Submit. And let's say somebody else comes along and let's call this person Tim. Tim's bringing salad and bringing it the afternoon before field day, clicks next and sees the direction here to please drop it off at the school cafeteria with Ms. Jones, and then it's all done. So that's how you can use branching logic in Microsoft Forms. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.